Okay. Okay. All right, so we had a couple of problems with our bell siphons. Uh, one problem was that it would drain, but then it would constantly drain. It would never fill back up. So to fix that problem, what I did was drill one little breather hole uh, a little bit higher than where the, the water goes through the, the bottom of the siphon. Uh, it's not so much that it keeps the water going in, but when the water gets down here, it lets a little bit of air through, and that stops the siphon. The other problem was the exact opposite. It would fill up, but it wouldn't drain. Um, and that was because the siphon wasn't being triggered. So what I did to solve that problem is I put a little adapter here that allows a lot more volume around the edge to go in at once. So with this regular pipe, uh, it wouldn't be enough water to, to trigger the siphon. So I put these adapters on and you get a lot more of a, a diameter all going into this pipe at once and it keeps any air from being stuck in this pipe. Because in this one, a uh, almost like a swirl or something would start and it would let air travel up and down this pipe. It wouldn't drain, it wouldn't siphon, uh, the barrel would overflow. So we got a bigger adapter, and I, I need to make a bigger, I mean, a, a, a longer pipe. This was just for a test. But by putting a adapter on the top, you keep your barrels from overflowing. And by putting a little breather hole in the bottom, it's a pretty easy way to stop the siphon so that it will start filling again. And between the two of them, it seems to be working correctly. That's it.